I'm still trying to get my camera set up. Skype is so slow today. Are we recording or no? We are recording. Hello, I have allergies. Yay! Yes. Okay. Anyways... Let's present stuff to Gumshoe. I, we might have done I this. I present my allergies to Gumshoe. Oh wait, no, we already did this because I think I remember presenting Phoenix to him and he was like, you're making a weird face. Wait, oh, why? Wait, wait, oh, okay. Okay. Um, Thanks. Miss Thanks, Thanks, Oh, Oh, I remember. I remember my cup pearl to call Gumshoe Mr. Detective Dick. Oh, yes. And also, I would like to thank, uh, App Permission Monitor for telling me that Skype is using my microphone. Really? <laughs> How else would I hear you? Through the power of teleportation. I think you mean Remember telekinesis. No, not telekinesis. Hey, Telepathy. There are too many tele whatevers. It's obviously a combination of tele telepathy and teleportation. <laughs> Telepathy. Um, Mr. Detective Dick, can you tell us about what happened? Oh. You're trying to remember my name, Atta Girl. Um, just it's Gumshoe. Okay. Anyway, the thief stole something called the Sacred Urn. I know about that. Oh, well, the criminal's name is Masked Mask. I know about that too. Detective, can you tell us something other than that? Well. I guess I sorta of, kinda of owe you guys, in a way. The crime occurred last night, around 1.30 in the morning. How exactly do you know? We got an emergency phone call from a guard at the scene of the crime, pal. He said the urn was just stolen. The scene of the crime? You mean here, right? Wrong. That urn was being kept under careful guard in the basement warehouse. Basement warehouse? Hmm. Um, so who was guarding the basement warehouse? That guy! It's all his fault that the thief got away, pal. He solves one case and gets a swelled head thinking that he's an ace detective. Ace Detective? Let's talk about Mask to Mask now. Yes. Hey, Gum Show, about this mask human. <laughs> Is he famous or. What? You're joking, right, Nick? Mask no. to Mask is the hottest thing since sliced bread. That's sliced been bread heated up in the microwave. Okay, that makes more sense, but I prefer toast. For a really, a really, really long time. I prefer bread. Toast is too crispy. That's it because you always burn it! Well, the toaster should not be burning the toast. Well, maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you should set the toaster setting lower then. I set it exactly to the time that you set it to. And it still burns it. I told you, the toaster does not like me. Really? Yes. Uh, I don't know how to explain that. I don't either. Uh, then I went to find some other people because I was just bored of just standing there. Uh, Nick called the authorities. Wait, you found- we went to go find other people to call the authorities. No, I want to talk to them about- <laughs> The 
So basically what happened was you went to go find other people and you were... And then, my, and then apparently my... And told them what happened them. and they had common sense and were like, uh, maybe we should call the police. No, uh, so my, like, roommate called and said the toaster broke. So I was just like, does anyone have, like, an extra toaster? Moving <laughs> on with the testimony. One time I was trying to make a Pop-Tart and it tried to throw it at me. What? Like, I mean, the toaster. Just, I, no one else was at the office. The toaster just uh, fell on its side and tried to shoot a Pop-Tart at me. Uh, uh, okay. How does Wait, this even happen? That, that's weird. I am pretty sure Toaster is haunted. Yes, Toaster is haunted. <laughs> Hopefully Anyways, the oven doesn't get haunted next. The microwave is a lot better than the toaster. But the microwave makes everything all dry. Microwave is perfectly fine. I put food in there and it comes out dry. It's like paper. No, the toaster makes things like paper. Like very burnt paper. So paper that's been burnt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And also, you don't see, uh, convenient timers with the exact time left for your toast to be done. Oh, those, those, those things are not accurate at all. I know. And they're, and they're very inconsistent. Yes, they are. So, toaster timers are a lie. And then they get to a certain point and then all of a sudden just go right back. To the start I, and I just, boom, okay, your I toast is use... done. Here, we'll shoot it right into your mouth. I would suggest using a toaster oven. Maybe I should. They have they have less moving parts and are less likely to attack you with the toast. I feel like it would still find a way. It can. One time, Larry was walking in while I was trying to make a toast, and I dodged a piece of toast wait, that was wait, flying wait, at me. And toast? it hit Larry, and he actually got burned! The toaster wow. tried to burn me! How?! Uh, it's sentient and obviously doesn't like you. What did you oh, do to why? it? <laughs> I didn't do what anything to it. You want to get something, Maya? I did not do anything to it. Maybe it feels. It maybe it feels neglected. What do you mean neglected? I used it. Maybe it's jealous that you're using the microwave to cook bread. Like, how dare you let that microwave steal my job? But, that's not... No, I heat the bread up in the microwave because the toaster attacks me. So maybe if the toaster would stop attacking me, then I would get rid... Then I would... Stop. Rich? What? Why would you get rich because the toaster stopped attacking you? <laughs> I was going to say get rid of, and then I realized I don't know what I'm saying that I'm going to get rid of, so... What are you going to get rid of? I just told you, I have no idea. I didn't know where that uh. sentence was going, which is why I tried to change it. Just like, I don't know where this conversation is going. Somewhere. Or my He's waffles, going. because those all of a sudden just magically disappear. I heard about that. Someone named Sally keeps, I think, 
the office next door. <clears throat> I went over there to get a stapler because hours broke. And guess what I saw? What? Sally had... Sally's desk was covered in waffles. Desk? Wait, what? And I guess what? I looked in the trash and guess what? There were boxes. And on the boxes had the name... Had our office's name on it. Because that's how they ship food. No, it's not. Do you really think... We have enough money to be buying boxes no, of no. waffles with the no. name of our building? No, just no. like no, 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 no. Nick, let's no, no. okay. Let mess the mask is the hottest thing since sliced spread in the microwave. I was saying that they deliver the waffles. They're very cheap and disgusting, but at least there's something. Sometimes he appears as a museum guard. Sometimes he appears as a big brown bear known to surprise unsuspecting victims. But underneath those that disguises is the true mask to mask. So he's some kind of master of disguise. And he only goes after the finest works of our pal. Last night was his fifth heist. If ah. Lord Lee Taylor had only cooperated, I could have caught him this time. Uh, what? He, then you knew he was planning on stealing the sacred urn? Of course I did. The guy always sends his calling card before he steals something. Calling card? They mentioned that on TV. <laughs> now let's go back to the ace detective thing. So about the stolen waffles. The what? Ah! Uh, um, why do you call him that? Anyway. Uh, that's what he calls himself, pal. I didn't hey. make it up. So, what's he like? Hey. Well... Like I told you, Mask to Mask has made five heists so far. On the fourth heist, Mr. Ace Detective managed to get the stolen treasure back. Wow, that is impressive. All by himself? Yeah, I gotta admit it, pal. Maybe he really is as good as he says. Every time the thief sends one of his calling cards, we send our men on a stakeout. But none of us have ever gotten so much as a glimpse of the guy. But Mr. S. Detective was able to receive the stolen treasure from the thief. Anyway, he's at the scene of the crime right now, looking for clues. So he's in the basement. Now back to the calling card. Uh, so what is this calling card? Here it is, but don't show it to anyone. It's top secret, okay, pal? What's this mark on the front? That's Mask to Mask signature emblem, pal. You could say it's his mark. All of his calling cards have got, got it on them. They didn't mention that on the news flash. We're withholding that detail from the public for operational reasons. The only way we can tell if the calling card is real or not is by this emblem. That makes sense. When you get famous, there are always imitators. Mr. Nick, if you work a little harder, Maybe you can have your own copycat someday. Um, Foreshadowing. I guess. No matter how many times we come here, this place always gives me the chills. That's probably because it's air conditioned. To protect the art. 
Uh, you can be him. Welcome! <laughs> I don't think that would be his voice at all. Uh, oh. I would do, like, snobby know-it-all. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hi, I am here. Yay. I'm yes. tired. Why am I tired? If that doesn't Welcome. scream snobby know-it-all, I don't know what does. Banquet of horribleness. And Welcome chaos. to my private yeah. little you read banquet right of now? My, chaos. Right now I am dealing with sore throat. And I am tired. Yes. At least for now I'll be him. Uh, yes. What? What does that mean? I do. See? He even his looks just scream snobby it know it all. Looks like he stood outside during a thunderstorm. And the lightning bolt was and uh, lightning just got stuck through. to his head. Yeah. I'm afraid I have very little to offer, but please make yourself at home. What is he? Is that uh, like Von Karma? <laughs> <laughs> a snobbier version of Von Karma? I don't know. That's a nightmare. Err, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, who are you anyway? Shh! Silence! <laughs> Why? Um, okay. No! Yeah. Now I see. It's all becoming clear. Well, what do you see? Sorry. The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. Good for a you. lawyer and a spirit medium. Neither very advanced at their trade. <laughs> Uh, Nick, did, did he just roast us? Ow, I feel very ow. What? Okay, then. <laughs> Am I wrong? Yikes! Yes. <laughs> That's scary. How did you know that? Yes, he's creepy. How, you say? The universal skeptic would say that how is nothing but a question of why. No, why is a question of why? I am a traveler class. of both time and space and a good swimmer of dreams. Once again, good for you. Uh, what is he talking about, Nick? I can't make heads or tails of it. Without further ado, let me fulfill what should be the first duty of any gentleman. You're gonna poop? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! <laughs> you, this is the first time you pooped ever? <laughs> yes. But I will do it. I, I will do it in the bathroom, like okay, a true gentleman. You. Thanks, I, I appreciate that. It's only necessary when there are females around. If, uh -oh. if there are no females uh -oh. around and there are only males around, then it's perfectly fine to just poop on the floor. Sure. That was a joke. Sure. Please don't poop on the floor. I ever. I wasn't going to. Well, I thought you just looked so dumb. That you You look stupid. Allow me to introduce myself. The name no. is at me. I will not. I will not allow you to introduce yourself. Look at me. 
That is my name. Ace Detective. The only thing that's going at you is a tiny rock. Oh, um, hi. Uh, don't let him in intimidate you, Nick. Stand up and show him what you're made of. Uh. What? What? Hi. Uh, uh, right. Phoenix, right. Ace, turn it. I'm Maya Fey, Ace Spirit Medium. And I'm, um, Pearl Fey. I'm Mystic Maya's cousin. And, um, Spirit Medium Ace Apprentice. Excellent. Well then, shall we begin our little game? No. Game? What does phrase have one short of a baker's dozen? This guy does not have 13. <laughs> what? I don't understand any of your sayings. Uh, baker's dozen. When you Red. say sayings, you have to have them make sense. For example, oh, 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 I, I'm my sorry. toilet That's is a, like no, the no, bottomless no, pit of a volcano. What? When I no, have no, tacos for dinner. Except go to the local mint. When I have tacos for dinner. What about that? That is when my toilet is a bottomless abyss like a volcano. I don't need to know about your pooping habits. No, I mean, my toilet literally turns into a volcano. I told you, I've never pooped before. Oh, right. I forgot you're really weird. Probably because my toilet turns into a volcano. <laughs> you should probably have that look, Dad. It happens with every single toilet I go to sit down on. <laughs> Maybe. And I Maybe thought the having toasters trying... hate me was bad. Maybe the universe is trying to tell you something. <laughs> yes. Okay. We're going to end it here. Thanks for watching, Pharaoh. Yes. Pharaoh! Pharaoh!